Hello, everybody. My name is Nima. Uh, I'm working at DSL Labs, Scotia Bank, as my, uh, Tom mentioned, we are doing different, uh, different disciplines and different projects. Uh, just I want to uh, use this opportunity to thank uh, Tiger Graph for to provide this opportunity to present the, the project we did uh, last, last year, a couple of years ago, actually. And now we have a published uh, article that you can that's uh, that's you can uh, freely access to them uh, on the network. So uh, the title of my presentation is uh, is a correspondent correspondent banking networks. What is corresponding banking? Corresponding banking refers to a network of a financial institution that provide cross border payment services for customers through different channels like. Uh, Swift, FedEx, um, etc. So uh, that means the different clients in different jurisdiction or geographical location uh, can access to a network to, uh, to for cross border payments to send money from a country A to country B and, and so on. So, but in the recent years, one of the one of the biggest issue with the corresponding banking is the global risk. Uh, because financial institutions are at the risk of being used by criminal organization for money laundry or using or terrorist groups to facilitate the finance the financing of their activities and therefore there is a huge risk if you look at the uh, charts uh, in, in uh, left side of the uh, slides you can you can imagine that how big is the uh, fund the global fund because of the sanctions or because of the uh, uh, other restoration regulations. You can see, for example, the, the, the amount of the global fines by region. Uh, if you look at the North America is, is significantly greater than other, other, uh, other continents. And then uh, create the network of the, of the data of the corresponding payments. The network included senders, correspondent banks, intermediary banks, correspondent, receiver, and receiver. This is the key component of the network and the main structure of the network. So using the network, we do some future engineering. engineering. So extract some network base features that before this project, nobody knows or nobody uh, 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 didn't have idea about this, this, this kind of features. So the features is include like a, a month through uh, the uh, amount, the, the, the dollar value going through between, between the nodes of the, of the network, volume of the, the um, by volume means the number of transactions between the nodes, uh, the access to banks, access to customers, in this case, BNS or social bank customers, touch points, touch points means how many uh, 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 products the specific banks or specific customer has with Scotia Bank, uh, top segment customers, uh, and we divided the futures to benefit futures and risk futures. We do uh, machine learning using this future to score the banks using the kind of clustering methods to evaluate the banks for offboarding or onboarding or restrict the relationships as, as mentioned before uh, we are doing the machine learning stuff to network analysis and graph mining to find some uh, 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 um, suspicious components in the network that's that maybe that maybe uh, they they have a potential for some some uh, some uh, uh, suspicious activities and flow analysis so this is the overall network construction and, and the, the whole project, uh, uh, that's a big picture of the whole uh, project. The business impacts, uh, using the, the, this project, uh, now we have a faster decision making, like weeks to, uh, weeks to hours at this point. We, we save a lot of manual, like a, more than 200K per year. Now we have a more visibility on interbank relationships. For example, you, if you want to see a portion or entire a portion or entire network can be shown over, over different layers, like a geographical layers, counterparty or risk level, uh, 
you can set the uh, filter the the the, the uh, uh, you can choose the filter and see the whole or portion of the network um, we have a rapid response to new risk identifying the network and uh, uh, since we define this project we close uh, more than 100 Waster accounts uh, since January 2018 that was the very time consuming uh, uh, procedure before uh, having this project and many other business impacts. 